Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This is the first tropical disturbance of the season. This is not coming to land. It is going to fall apart. And that's why I thank you for subscribing to this channel. I'm going to get the correct information out throughout the season and get it out right away. You don't even need to uh, dive further into the video if this is all you want to find out about. But this here is a sign of what is going to happen for the upcoming hurricane season. So I want to show you that. Let me begin with this though. Here we are in the Caribbean, United States, Atlantic region of Canada, coast of Africa. This here, a huge spin in this yesterday. This was looking like a named system. It's actually this little area here. There was a solid spin, but it is diminishing. It's falling apart now over the last 12 hours. This thing has been really falling apart. It may have been, uh, they may have been able to classify it as a named system yesterday. They didn't though. Uh, they may go back and take a look at that and see if it should have been classified. But either way, this stays away from land. No development out of it. The Hurricane Center was even watching this. They put a marker out on this uh, yesterday and uh, earlier this morning saying, hey, a 10% chance of development. Right now, no chance of development, but you see how it is so far out there. Now, sometimes in April, there's a tropical disturbance. Uh, usually, that's a little bit closer to home, a little bit closer to land. It is rare that there's something uh, so far out there that I'm watching. Now, let me start with this and then get into the upcoming hurricane season. Uh, we're where the heck is it? This is the computer model for later today. Well, as I mentioned, it's kind of falling apart. It's this little area in here. So I want to take you forward in time first with this first tropical disturbance to show you how it is not going to uh, develop uh, just to help lower any anxiety. And we're not even in the hurricane season. So here we are in the Caribbean and you see uh, nothing really there. If you just look at this map and you didn't know there was a tropical disturbance out there yesterday and earlier today, you would say, hey, there's nothing there. So a few rain showers here, uh, but really everything just kind of fizzling apart. There's some cooler water it's around and there's a lot of wind shear in the upper atmosphere uh, knocking off the thunderstorms from this. So uh, you see here as we work our way into Friday, really no development out of this. And as we work our way into Saturday, you see a few showers with it and that's all. No big, uh, no big system here forming out of this. But why did this form? Why are we talking about the tropics already? Well, this pertains to a lot of what I was showing you in yesterday's video. If you didn't see that, I was talking about some of the biggest threats we would see this upcoming hurricane season. You could go back and look at this video, but here's Puerto Rico, the DR. Uh, you get back toward Haiti. Here's Trinidad and Tobago. Out here, the water temperatures where this are, uh, where this is, uh, are running well above average. 24, 25, 26 degrees, 27 degrees Celsius. So we're looking at 70s, some low 80s, but mainly upper 70s, mid upper 70s for some of those water temperatures. These numbers here off the coast of Africa, this is a map we typically find in about late June and even July. So the water temperatures are way above average for this time of year. And that's one of the reasons we're already talking about some activity. And the water temperatures in the uh, Caribbean and a sliver stretching back into the Gulf of Mexico, well above average as well. 28, 29 degrees Celsius in the low 80s Fahrenheit. That is conducive for tropical development, tropical storms or hurricanes to form. They, they're not really forming yet because there's other ingredients. Uh, there's a lot of turbulence up there in the upper atmosphere, but this is a problem uh, for the upcoming hurricane season. And you see here, anywhere you're seeing this uh, kind of orangey shading right through here, these are temperatures that are flat out running above average. That is about the entire Caribbean all of it running above average temperatures and the water temperatures are warm even as you go down. That's called the heat content. That's what I was looking at in yesterday's uh, video. Now, uh, this disturbance is rare, but there are sometimes named systems or tropical depressions, classified systems in the month of April, but March and April are usually super quiet, of course, because we're not even in the hurricane season. Seven classified uh, systems in the month of April on record as best they could do record keeping uh, way back when, 50 in May. And because I was just showing you these water temperatures and I was talking about the heat content in yesterday's video and we have a tropical disturbance out there now, well, it's kind of falling apart, but we've had our first tropical disturbance. Those are all signs that uh, conditions are way more favorable or at least conducive. I don't like to use the word favorable because I don't want a hurricane hitting anyone or more conducive to an early start to hurricane season. It starts June 1st, but I 
do believe we have the possibility, a high possibility of more things like we're seeing out there uh, with uh, tropical disturbances over the next few weeks leading up to the start of hurricane season. First name on the list is Alberto. Again, this was not officially classified as, as a system. It was just a tropical disturbance, so uh, no name on it. Beryl, Chris, Debbie, Ernesto after that. We are going to get way down this list this season. There are going to be a lot of named storms. But with that said, that doesn't mean every storm's gonna hit us. Not every storm's gonna hit every island, every area of land. Hopefully they stay out to sea. So yes, there's gonna be a lot of named storms, but we'll take it storm by storm. I need to see the current conditions out there, the current pattern to see how things evolve. Just like this tropical disturbance, it's out there, but it is uh, falling apart. So uh, not all conditions are, are conducive for that to develop. I also wanna touch upon the Eastern Pacific side in just a moment in the hurricane season there. Right now, we've been watching some areas of rain, Dominican Republic stretching back toward Colombia, Costa Rica, Panama. The rain chance is gonna get even higher. Elsewhere, we've been dealing with some of the dust around that is going to be lessening. So that is some uh, good news while well, thinking about you with breathing issues and the air quality out there. But today, watching out for some scattered rain and storms. Again, Puerto Rico and the DR, even a couple in Haiti. And then you can see this surge of moisture right here back through Panama watching out for some rain. Trinidad through Barbados, St. Lucia, Grenada, little passing shower possible, Dominica. But you see this rain here building uh, in the uh, Southern Caribbean, Costa Rica, Panama, Northern Colombia. We're going to see that rain chance getting even higher. And this is tomorrow, by the way. Still some scattered showers possible. The DR back through Puerto Rico, Jamaica, Belize, uh, Honduras, mainly dry, a slight chance of a shower, but mainly dry. And as we get into Saturday, still watching out for those scattered showers and storms in Puerto Rico could see a couple of Turks and Caicos in Cuba, and you see the rain chance a little higher here. Costa Rica and Panama, uh, we're going to get into a wetter phase with that starting to move over toward the Pacific side. So additional rainfall today. See that white shade, or rather the next three days, I should say. There's a white shading right through here in the DR. We're going to have some spots over 100 millimeters or four inches of additional rainfall. That'll lead to some isolated flooding isolated flooding possible if you get some quick downpours in Puerto Rico and if they happen in some of the same spots that we've had them over the last few days. So monitoring that as we go over the next uh, uh, three days. Now we get a look at the bigger picture. We're going to see some severe weather breaking out. There was already some this morning in uh, parts of uh, Kansas. You get back toward Missouri, middle of the U.S. watching out for the potential of some tornadoes. Elsewhere, the Gulf of Mexico itself is uh, pretty quiet. And then you can see some of the rain here over toward Hispaniola and watching this old uh, system here uh, pulling by. Most of this will kind of miss uh, Bermuda. You see as we work our way into tomorrow, this system out here kind of fizzles apart. Uh, middle of the country and western part of uh, the United States, uh, the uh, western part of the uh, country seeing uh, a higher chance of some rain, some snow showers around in the uh, higher elevation. But the severe weather here will be concerned. Gulf of Mexico, we're going to be on the uh, dry side and watching out for the areas of spotty showers back through the Caribbean and still monitoring some of that dust. Atlantic region of Canada uh, we're a little quieter over the next few days. Now, on the eastern Pacific side, see things are getting more active. The, the uh, rain near Colombia, Costa Rica, Panama, that'll continue to work off. The overall trade winds, the global winds uh, on the eastern Pacific side. And I'll watch out for any signs of development here. Models not picking up on anything quite yet. But you get to the eastern Pacific side, there's a different set of names. So you may hear an A name pretty soon, but it could be Aletta, and that would be on the eastern Pacific side. Bud, Carlotta after that, Danielle, Amelia. Uh, Fabio and uh, Gilma uh, as we get down the list on the eastern uh, Pacific. All right, for uh, Jamaica, we're going to see a slightly better chance of some showers for us on Saturday. Not, not a lot, but an isolated shower storm possible on Saturday. The heat's actually going to help out with some of that. 20% chance on Saturday in the Cayman Islands. 30% chance of an isolated shower in uh, Trinidad and Tobago today. Nothing widespread. Still watching the dr dust. We need to get some rain. We just don't have a high chance. Barbados and St. Lucia, you see the rain chance? It's just not high. It would be isolated. We get back toward uh, Grenada, rain chance about 30%, 20% the next couple of days. St. Vincent in the Grenadines, the dust though lessening. Martinique, 10% chance for today, 10 to 20% chance over the next three days for us in Dominica. Rain chance 20% in Guadeloupe on the low side, wish it was higher. Antigua, Barbuda, 20% chance tomorrow on Saturday. 30% chance St. Kitts, Nevis in Montserrat, 20 to 30% chance Anguilla and St. Bart's. Rain chance tomorrow, 30%. St. Martin, Seba, and Stacia. And as we get toward Puerto Rico, the scattered showers and thunderstorms 
still around all the way into the upcoming weekend. Could get a few of those building back uh, toward the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Rain chance elevated through the DR, a 60% chance. Could see a few as we work our way toward Haiti. Rain chance about 30 to 40% and on the hot side. Uh, Bahamas, we are looking good with a lot of sunshine around some pleasant nights too with those temperatures. Turks and Caicos, isolated shower. We get over toward Cuba. We're going to have some very warm days and we're mainly dry. Uh, rain chance in Belize up slightly on Saturday, a 30% chance, 20% chance on Saturday in the Yucatan. We get back through Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, still some dust around in mainly dry conditions. No big rain event in at least the uh, short-term forecast. Bermuda, we're on the dry side uh, today. Rain chance trending up. I was highlighting that. Costa Rica and Panama. Some of that could clip by uh, Nicaragua. Guyana, rain chance 20 to 30 percent. Going back up on Saturday in Suriname, we'll have about a 40 percent chance. And through northern Venezuela, 30 percent chance today. Better chance in our northwestern zones as you get closer to uh, Colombia. So a rare tropical disturbance out there, but really falling apart in the open waters of the Atlantic. It is no threat to land, but it is a sign of an active hurricane season. We know that. We've been talking about that. We'll be ready for that. I'll keep you posted on that right here on this channel. Uh, dust gradually getting better and watching those areas rain. Hurricane season officially starts June 1st, but I feel like we're getting into that mode a little bit too early. So watching everything out there. Thank you for sharing this information and this channel, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.